Hi, R.D. Barry here. Welcome to puzzle number 49, the penultimate puzzle in my Let's Play of Hook. Well, let's see, what do we have here? Um, this is really very tangled up here, but uh, I th there are two pins that are free. This one down here. Um, and this little short one up here. So let's see if we can get those. Um, I want to go... Let's see, I can, I can connect this short one over to the... the actually, the short one is already connected to the uh, source there. But I need to disconnect it... Uh, from that pin, so I'm going to have to do this. Get the uh, switch in that direction. Now the source will come from here to there. It will get sidetracked there, but that's no problem because there's a dead end. Um, and it looks like we're going to get the... Um, the second pin with a little extra trouble there because this signal will cr travel across travel across here and then down and that then back up so all we need to do is make sure this branch doesn't uh, activate anything so I'll disconnect that and uh, I think we are set from there. Let's see, let's go check in there. That's a dead end. So let's try that. Okay. So what did that free up? Uh, this pin here, this hooked pin here, and um, this second diagonal over here. Um, so let's see, this one... Well, let's see, this pin here isn't really free because it's, it's connected to this one as well. So uh, we really can't do this one without do it until that one is free. So we might as well just forget about that one for the time being. Uh, and that only leaves this diagonal one here. So we want to get this one and nothing else. Um, so let's see. Let's... Um, where can we connect that to? This one goes around like this and connects to either here or winding around like that. So let's try doing it from the uh, right here. So I'll follow this around, connect this, or switch that so it, it points to the right instead of to there because that will cause a reset. And this winds around and gets to the source there. And if I just dis dis disconnect the source, um, that should be all I need. Uh, except that it continues branches over here. So let's connect this, disconnect that branch as well. Okay, so I think we're all set. Let's try it. Okay. And um, what did that free? Well, I think it only freed one, this one pin right here. So um, let's see here. How do we get to there? Um, I think like sixty percent of this puzzle is just trying to follow all these wires around because it's very convoluted here. But um, let's 
let's see. This goes up here. Um, let's let's try going to the right again. So this make this uh make this a dead end. Follow it this way. Oh, actually, no. Let's just do that. Okay. So um. So this, so the signal will go up here, down around. This is a dead end, and it'll continue down here to that direction, or to that pin, so that's what we want. This one here, we can just nip that in the bud right there. And uh, I think that will do it. So, uh, yeah, so we're doing it from the left instead, so let's try it. Okay. Um, now, because the the pins are kind of in this crosshatch type pattern, it's like when I uh, free a pin that's going to the right, it, the the only ones that are possibly going to be freed by that are the ones going to the left, and vice versa. So if, since I I freed up a one that's going to the right. I just have to check the ones going to the left to see what what has been freed, and it looks like this is the only one. So we're gonna have to do this one. Um, in order to get that, we're going to need to flip the switch here so it points upward and now that kind of circles the screen here um, and if we flip that switch that direction it'll kind of loop around there and back to the source we already disabled this other branch so it's going up around here looping around then this direction winding around to there and I think that's gonna work for us okay so let's try that okay now let's check the ones going to the right here um, these two are still yeah this I can't do this one without getting one of these other two still um, so that just leaves this one here is the only free one. So that's going to go up and then loop around and then up here. So why don't I just flick that switch like that. And again I'm using the idea that um, if I've only changed one switch well I better double check that because um, last time I did this button here not this button so let's go around this way and yeah it seems to be all right so let's try that okay and uh, now I think we can do one of these going to the le left here and that's relatively easy just connect it say like that. So it goes down. No, I want it to connect to the source there. So like that. Let's disconnect this just to be on the safe side. So that's a dead end. This is just going to go straight over and then to the right and then we should be all set. Okay, now we've got these two done are doable at the same time. So let's just leave this leave this switch here and just make sure it's connected to the source somehow. So I'll try doing it that way. This will go up and then down. 
switch that switch that way and so it should that should be the only way it will work there so that's a dead end this will go around up and then down and then over and it'll get both of these at the same time so let's try that okay and meanwhile we can also get this one which should be fairly easy um, this other branch is a dead, at dead end here so let's get that one as well okay so now we just have this one which um, yeah let's just flip this switch here and that will connect to the source and since um, nothing else changed I think I'm set on that and finally we just have this one hook left so we just need to connect it it doesn't matter how so let's do that and then like that and I think we're set all right well um, I will so sign off there and uh, see you next time on the uh, the very last puzzle in this um, let's play bye